Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Martina. Today I'm here with my stool because I'm going to show you some tricks to work towards your handstand and most importantly on how to fall from a handstand. So stay with me, just be sure to warm up your wrists first. If you don't do it yet, I will link my class about it. It's like a 10 minutes class. I think it's even shorter. So just do that first and then come back. I will wait for you here. Okay, so the first thing we're going to see today together is how to fall from a handstand and we're going to use our stool to help us out in this. So we're going to just place the stool on top of our mat and we're going to bring uh, our leg, um, our foot on top of it just to find the distance where we are supposed to put our hands. So just place the foot with your leg straight and the left foot is where your hands will go. So just put, place your, hand, your feet down and just place your hands where your feet are. Remember that your hands are shoulder width apart and your index finger are facing towards the corner of the mat. So hands down, uh, index finger towards the corners and just come on top of the stool. Okay, now I want to learn how to fall. So um, push the floor away. Now from here imagine we, you will bring one leg up and you want to imagine you're going to fall towards the left and you want to move your left uh, hand. So at the beginning maybe you don't understand. You have to imagine you're falling to the left, move your left leg together with your left arm and fall to the left. At the beginning maybe we're going to be weird but trust me just give it more, more, more trial and it will become easier. So just come up and keep repeating it. One leg up, fall into the left, move the arm, move the leg. And again, imagine that you want to repeat this as many times as possible. Come up, fall into the left. Uh, the best, if you can have a better chair ticket, maybe a heavier one, mine is a little bit light. That's what I had at home. So it's, it doesn't matter if it's left or right, I'm just showing you the left because it's easier in my apartment now. Uh, but you can also do it towards the right. So always hands shoulder width apart, always arms straight. Just think about falling to the left. Move the hand, move the foot. And just keep repeating this. Handstand is just about repetition. This is to, be to become as natural as possible for your body to do. Something you don't have to think about it, you just do it. Just, just do another one together. So come all the way up, leg up. Again, imagine your weight towards back and left and move the arm and the foot. And keep repeating this as many times as possible. Uh, I would say if you do it every day is the best because as I said, handstand is about repetition. So if the more you're going to repeat it, the more it will become easier for your body to do it and natural. So at one point, trust me, you will not have to think about it. You will just do it, but do it as many times as possible. Once you will get the hang of this, so it will become easy to you. So this is the next step, but don't do it if this one is already difficult. It's to just do it by jumping up. We're not going towards the handstand, we're just focusing on falling. So the hands are always shoulder width apart, index towards the corners. Now you imagine you want to jump up and to the left. So you don't care about finding your balance, you just think about going up and towards the left. The leg is open to the side, like a half a handstand, half of a cartwheel. So hands down, jump up, move the arm, and fall to the left. And again, hands down, jump up, move the left arm, and fall to the left. And also here, keep repeating it. Until one point, it will become natural. And the final step will be when you actually go towards the handstand. So once you will get your hands in the future. This is how you will fall out without falling on a wheel. So once you will have a handstand here and you feel like falling, you're going just to open to the side. This is the safest way you have to fall from a handstand without hurting yourself. But now we don't care about handstanding, we just care about falling out. So as I said, jump up and go to the left. And keep repeating it, repeat it as many times as possible. And trust me, at one point it will become easy. Now, after working on how to fall from a handstand, we're actually going to work also towards a handstand. So again, we're keeping our stool on our mat. 
The beginning is the same, so the distance is one leg distance, and then your hands are going to bring to be where your feet are. So the same as the same at the beginning. Once you place your hands down, finger towards the corner, shoulder width apart. Come, sorry. <laughs> you come up. And here you want to find your line. So you want to have your shoulders, your wrist, and your uh, hips in the same line. Maybe you will need to record yourself because maybe you actually will have some problem at the beginning to understand where you are upside down. So maybe film yourself. So find your line and bring one leg up. Don't open the hips here. Don't bring the leg over on the other side. Just to fit foot towards the ceiling and hips in line. And find your line, stay here. Your legs are active. Your feet are pointing, find your strength here. Push the floor away. And after five breaths, just change. Right leg up, same, push the floor away. Keeps your hips squared. Legs engaged as much as possible. And then when you're done with your five breaths, you just come down maybe. Relax your wrist if you need to. And also this one, try to repeat it. It's Maybe at the beginning you do two breaths. It doesn't have to be five at the beginning. It depends on your practice, on your body. But think about pushing the floor away. Keep your hands as straight, uh, your arms, sorry, as straight as possible. And keep this line, um, wrist, shoulders, hips, and foot. One line, and your legs are really engaged. So don't have your legs dead in the air. Just imagine, straight leg, engaged quad, and point your foot. And work on this. It doesn't have to be anything more than this today. If this comes easy, then we we'll do the next step. So the beginning is the same. You find your position. You bring one leg up. And from here, without opening the hips, you think just about bringing the right leg up and down. Up and down. Up and down. Keep your arms straight. Keep your focus in between your hands. Up and down. And when you're done with five at least, just come down, maybe rest a second, and then you're going to repeat also the other leg. And keep repeating this, repeating this. It's like us falling out. The more you do it, the easier it will become. Uh, this exercise can feel, uh, can make you scared a little bit at the beginning. Uh, first, we worked on falling out of it. So you should, you should be able to fall out of this because it's like we did before. You're going to be here, you try to detach the foot, and then you find you lose your balance, you fall to the side. So if you actually work on the previous, previous exercise, you should not have a problem on this one. But if, you, if for any reason it's still scary for you, uh, just place a wall behind you. So if your hands are in this line, just bring your wall like 20 centimeters from you. So the distance where you don't touch it, but in case you're actually falling, you don't fall, you're just going to go against the wall. So the wall could be a solution, but if you can, work on what we did before. Try to find your... Uh, try to become comfortable with it, so then you can work on this, and in case you're falling, you're falling from to the side. Um, once you're going to be done with this, we're going to do one another one together first. We're going to work also without a stool. So, another one together. Find your balance, sorry, find your position. Leg up, and then here, find your balance. Leg straight, keeps your hips in line. Detach, and down. Detach the foot, and down. Three, four, and five. And slowly, release. If this becomes easy to you, so you can detach the foot, you feel the engagement of your legs, you feel the core, then you can try to work without a stool. So you're going to just have your mat. Again, we worked on falling, so we worked also on falling without a stool. And we're going to place your hands down, same position like before, and you're going to jump a little bit now. But don't jump thinking about bringing your leg up. So we're not jumping like this. So just thinking about your feet towards the sky. You want to think about bringing your hips high. So hands shoulder width apart, leg, le right, left leg up for me, it's the same which one you would choose. Jump up, slowly thinking about your hips high, and come back down. Hips, and come back down. Try to find the same position you were having on the stool, the same position. So hips up, 
and down, up and down, up and down. And just keep working on these little jumps in which you want to try to, to, uh, to bring your hips on top of your shoulders and find the same position you had on the stool. At one point, you will find balance on this, if you find it before on the stool. So if you actually felt what does it mean to engage your legs, engage the core and find that balance so you could detach the foot, maybe stay a few seconds without touching the stool, you should be able to do it also without it. So hands down, leg up, jump, and maybe you will find balance, two breaths, and come back down. Up, find your balance, come back down. Up, find your balance, come back down. Two more. Arms straight, remember. And then last one. If you're falling, what happened here? You go to the side, what we learned before. So they really connected these two exercises. And you keep working on this. Uh, we never stop insisting on this. Repetition is fundamental for handstand. So just keep repeating it. So work first on falling out and then to uh, hold it. First with a stool, then without, and see how it goes. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope this is helpful. If you have any questions, just leave them under in the comments. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel. And hopefully, if I will be coming to your city, I always teach a handstand workshop. So if I'm there, just come so we can try together and learn together. Thank you again for watching this video and I will see you in the next one.